Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys uh, subscribing and watching all of our videos. It means a lot. Um, keeps me motivated to uh, continue filming this summer here. So anyways, this is just a quick video about uh, the Southern opener here in Wisconsin tomorrow. And like many of you guys, I'm out here in the garage right now uh, putting together a bait box. Um, some of them are going to be baits that I bought this past winter at the Expos. And some of them are tried and true uh, baits I like to use every year in the springtime here on the Wisconsin River. So we'll go over some baits and we'll talk about rods and reels a little bit. Maybe a couple tactics and hopefully uh, everyone gets a fish this weekend. I know I'm looking forward to it. I was fortunate enough last year uh, to get one on opening day. Um, it's the first time that ever happened for me on the river. So I'm hoping to duplicate that success here this year in 2020. So... Stay tuned and we'll check out some baits. Okay, so first things first, here is uh, my Tease Tackle pedestal based bait box. Um, it's pretty cool, it's got slots carved in it here. You can stick it right underneath your pedestal seat in the front of the boat or anywhere you got a pedestal seat really. Um, you can get quite a few baits in here. It does uh, become a tangled mess after a while, but uh, that's on you if it does. And anyways, I've had this thing a number of years now. It's holding up pretty well, pretty durable plastic. There's a few cracks, but it's not really falling apart. Um, it's pretty big. You can get like mag dogs in here and that kind of thing, and they won't be dragging on the ground inside. Um, so that's where I like to put my assortment of baits for most of the year. I just kind of switch them out. You know, I, ha I have like a spring lineup, and then I move summer type baits in here, change things up if I travel, that kind of stuff. So. Anyways, there's my uh, my bait box I like to use. I'm not one of these guys that carries 400 baits in the boat at all times. Um, a lot of times I'm fishing out of other boats. Or I just like to uh, switch things up a little bit. So um, I do have uh, a Lakewood box. And sometimes I just use Plano boxes. But anyways, this is what I'll be using this weekend. And over here, we've got baits, baits, and more baits. I have sort of an obsession, I'm sure a lot of you guys share it. Um, I do uh, use quite a bit of bucktails on uh, in the springtime. Probably going to focus in here on these beam blades. Those will probably be my go-tos for tomorrow. I don't throw a ton of... Uh, bucktails in the spring i don't feel like the fish are quite chasing them just yet but once they're done uh, spawning i would imagine they will um probably gonna be throwing some twitch baits and some smaller cranks like these shallow raiders i've got ooh some mantas i'll probably pack up some hellhounds uh definitely gonna be adding some suix in there love the suix Big fan. Here's some more mantas. Probably a couple of these little spring dogs up here. And then I'm excited about these guys I picked up this winter. All right, I got some baits laid out here. Uh, I'm gonna stuff them in that tease tackle box I showed you guys before. And I might add a couple more still, I'm not sure. This is usually a pretty good starting point for me though. Kind of covers all the bases here in spring. Um, got a little bit of everything. Got a tap dancer here from Chaos Tackle and a Shum Slim. It's like, I don't remember what that's called. It's like a hellhound or something. Some bucktails, one of those paddle tail swim baits. Another one of those guys, some more bucktails. Some uh, shell raiders and some knockoff shell raiders. Got a JB, Joe Booker uh, rattle bait, um, twitch bait. Gonna bring one top water bait out there in case conditions are good for that. Uh, that happens to be a fat bastard I like. And then of course we've got the handy suix. And we've got uh, a manta I'm gonna bring and a little bit of rubber here. So again, I think that kind of covers most of the baits that I'll be throwing tomorrow. Um, in all reality, if I see a fish on one bait, I'll probably just wind up throwing that same bait all day, maybe switch the colors up a little bit but um, for me anyways this is what works pretty well around here in the early season so let's talk a little bit about the rods and reels I'm going to use. Okay so the first rod I have here is a St. Croix Legend Tournament Top and Tail 
It's a eight foot medium heavy power fast action. Uh, works real good for smaller bucktails. Works real good for twitch baits and smaller crank baits like I'm going to be throwing tomorrow. Um, I've got it paired up with a Trinx 400 here. This is the high speed one. Uh, again, it's a top and tail split grip. Old rod, but never had an issue with it. Um, worth good for those baits. And for a rod and reel combo number two here, I've got an Elk River ERX rod. Um, this is an extra heavy rod. It's eight and a half, four to 12 ounces for lures. And this rod, or this rod, um, works for damn near every bait that I own. Um, this is also matched with the Tranks 400, but this is not the high gear. I just have the, uh, handle switched out here. So I've got a power handle on it. Um, it's also a split grip, just happens to be what I got. But like I said, that's an eight and a half foot rod. Real versatile rod. I can damn near throw everything I own with this. So I'll be throwing the Suix with this, the Bulldogs. can throw bucktails, rubber. Um, great top water rod. Basically any, any bait that I own, I can throw with this thing and do it well. So that's rod and reel combo number two. We got one more here. All right, and combo number three here is another Legend Tournament rod by St. Croix. Um, this is the Jerk, and it is a seven and a half foot rod, uh, extra heavy power, fast action, three to eight ounce baits. Um, this works real great with Phantoms, Mantas, Slims, um, Tap Dancers, all the kind of stuff that you need to, you know, do short top to bottom jerks with. Again, it's a split grip uh, paired up with another Tranks here, regular speed with the regular handle. Um, this I found to work really well for me. I did have the classic jerk, a six foot nine um, at one point in time and I sold that because I got a different boat and I needed something just a little bit longer. And honestly, this one seems to cast a lot easier and further and I don't have to put so much shoulder into it when I'm chucking baits around, so that helps, helps uh, after a long day. So that is combo number three. Uh, I do have more rods and reels up there, but pretty much just going to be taking these three tomorrow. All right, that pretty much wraps things up here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and leave any questions or comments below. Um, I wish you guys some good luck tomorrow. I hope everyone puts one in a bag and gets their 2020 opener off to a good start here. So take care, be safe, and keep watching. we got more episodes coming. Peace.